People across Asia and the Middle East looked skyward this Boxing Day to catch a glimpse of the annual solar eclipse. I am eclipse chaser. It's my 11 eclipse, and I specifically came to Saudi Arabia to see that annual solar eclipse during sunrise. Now, indeed, one of the best views proved to be in Saudi Arabia. Crowds gathered in the heart of the kingdom's eastern province to witness the rare sight of a ring of fire appearing on the horizon. And the spectacle at sunrise did not disappoint, with many trying to capture the eclipse on their phones. And the eclipse also brought out sky watchers across India. The eastern state of Odisha even declared it a public holiday to allow locals to observe the phenomenon. And unfortunately, though, cloud cover and pollution obstructed the view in the capital of New Delhi. Even Prime Minister Narendra Modi was disappointed. He live-streamed parts of it instead. And as the eclipse unfolded, many got creative to ensure safety wasn't eclipsed. Well, after all, observing the cosmic spectacle without special filters can cause permanent eye damage. Some even used welding masks and equipment to protect their vision. And even these monks ensured their vision was protected before looking up to soak in the sights. And some in Pakistan and Sri Lanka turned to X-ray films to block out the sun's rays, although the jury's out on whether that's sufficient. In Thailand, students at this school held up protective eyewear as they took in the sights. The National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand sent staff and equipment to 400 schools nationwide to catch the eclipse. In Indonesia, the event could be seen across seven provinces. Crowds gathered on rooftops in Aceh to watch the sun and moon align. Kali pertama saya mau, uh, melihat peristiwa seperti ini. Jadi uh, agak bersyukur sih. And many captured the moment the sun burned a thin outline around the edges of the moon. And this is the last solar eclipse of the decade. The next one is forecast for 14 December next year. But you'll have to travel to take in the sights. The eclipse will be visible across parts of Chile and Argentina, as well as southwest Africa and Antarctica. And two astronomy experts joins me now. We have Bharat Kumar Shriram, president of Astronomy.sg, which brands itself as an information hub for astronomy in Singapore. And Tan Tianzhen is also with Astronomy.sg, and he's the vice president of Outreach. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming in and joining me today. Yeah. So, okay, Shriram, I want to start with you. There were lots of anticipation. A lot of people were talking about this ring of fire. You know, you obviously saw it today. Did it meet the expectations? You know, was it what you expected it to be? I would say it was what we really expected it to be. We were worried of a lot, especially at this part of time in where we were worried about cloud forecast, cloud overcast, and etc. And so the fact that we were able to actually see the eclipse, especially during its peak around 1.30, it was really a great moment for us. It was really happy for us to see everyone in our event who were really happy to have seen it as well, especially with their solar glasses, through the telescopes, and even through the different films that they have brought along for the event for today as well. Right. Um, so we know that this is not just any old eclipse. You know, this was actually an annual solar eclipse. Yeah. How is that different from, you know, an eclipse? Help us understand that. So as far as solar eclipses are concerned, we have both, a, we have either a total or an annual eclipse. Now, a total eclipse usually occurs when the sun is completely covered by the moon. But what we observe today, an annular eclipse, is when we can still see parts of the sun thus forming the ring of fire that we see, that we saw, saw, this, saw this morning. Yeah. So why this occurs? Because the moon's orbit around the Earth is elliptical in nature. So at, at points of time, the moon is a bit further away from the Earth, and at points of time, the moon is closer towards the Earth. And for this particular eclipse, the moon was slightly further away from the Earth, thus allowing parts of the sun to still remain visible thus creating the annular eclipse that we had seen today. Okay. Um, so, um, Jizzy, I want to note, you yes. know we were told you have to wear protective gear when yes. you're looking at the sun. Um, how badly can your eyes actually be damaged by gazing at the sun, you know, okay. for even a short period of time? Some people say, oh, no, it's okay, it's just a short period of time, I can still see it, right? But it actually still damages your eye. Okay, so, like, um, it damages your eyes because, like, it's the UV rays. It, you don't see those rays, but it penetrates deep into your eyes and actually causes permanent eye damage. I mean, like, um, 
uh, not qualified to say what kind of damage it will cause, but it's just experts all over will actually recommend you to not do against that, yeah. Okay, so, you know, the people were using um, different methods yeah. today to look at it. You know, tell us um, about some of them, you know, are they justified, especially the one with the um, X-ray films? Okay, so I think, we're, we, we have we discussed, like, raiding a hospital for <laughs> use X-ray? We actually wanted people to donate because it's, it's not sufficient, but it does the job okay. But we decided against that because, like, uh, we realized if you are giving this out to the public, and it would be very dangerous for the public to actually use this kind of things. So some of the methods we have seen today, uh, people observing the sun, right, was pinhole cameras. Uh, basically, it's a, cam it's a box, a very darkened box with a one hole inside. So it only like concentrates the light through one single hole and projects it on the other side of the box. So uh, image of the sun. Mm -hmm. So that's actually one of the better ways to actually observe it because you can actually see it without all the damage d by directly looking at the sun. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what about, so then I have a question. Yes. So I come unprepared mm -hmm. and I want to look at this um, you know, annular solar eclipse. Uh -huh. What should I then do? Uh, so it, it, by using, by looking at it through my phone, is that okay? Is okay, that like, uh, some of my friends have done very, something very interesting. They use a piece of glass to like look through the reflection. That, that works too, but like, uh, I think usually, come prepared. <laughs> Yeah, because like the best way to see it is actually to see it with your own eyes directly in looking at it. Yeah. Were you excited when you actually saw it today? Yes, of course. We've had so long for this to just for that three minutes when the whole sky darkens the whole area. It's majestic and what. Okay. Um. So the next eclipse won't happen um until the year. 2063, yes. right? But what about a so-called standard eclipse? Can we expect that in the next um coming months or uh, years? Uh, as far as solar eclipses are considered, they do occur quite frequently, usually about once every two years or so throughout the, throughout the entire calendar. However, as, as far as viewing it in Singapore is concerned, we will not be able to see a complete eclipse, especially a complete annular solar eclipse, until, until 2063 mm. itself. However, we will be able to see a few partial eclipses occurring in Singapore th throughout the next few years. And if you are willing to travel, of course, you can always go to different parts of the world to look at different, different types of eclipses as well. Yeah. Like even the one next year for a total, for, sorry, uh, annular solar eclipse, you can observe it in parts of Africa and parts of northern India as well. Mm. But however, if you are in Singapore or other parts of Southeast Asia, you might only be getting a partial solar so like this. Okay, so if anybody goes to astronomy.sg, they will be able to get all the information that you will be putting out there? Yes. Yep. Yeah, we pride ourselves as the portal of information for astronomy news. Okay, yeah. well, I look forward to it. I'm going to see what you guys have there. Thank you no so problem. much for coming in Thank and you. speaking to me today. Um, you know, I've been speaking with Bharat Kumar Siram, Shriram and Tan Jian Zhen of astronomy.sg. And that's Asia Tonight. Now, a check of our top stories is next and Singapore Tonight is here in an hour's time. And we leave you now with more of how people across Asia caught their glimpse of the rare annular solar eclipse today.